Hey guys, Cloud here, and today we will be covering something that I get asked a lot. It will be pretty quick, and uh, hopefully this will solve some of your guys' issues. Uh, but in the past, I have used Unicode for action bar text, and so you have these cool little images in the game, and everything is nice. But in 1.19.3, for some reason they decided, well, let's give a drop shadow to literally everything in the game. And so now you have this issue of when you run it in the action bar, uh, it will just have a drop shadow just like this. The reason I did it in the title just to show you guys what it looks like is so it's zoomed in and you can really see it well because it's very tiny there, but you can see that there is a drop shadow and that kind of sucks. And so how do we fix that? Uh, so the long answer is you have to make a resource pack that does a bunch of shader stuff and you got to manipulate shaders. The quick answer is you download this guy Pucky Silver's resource pack, which does it for you and you kind of just work within the confines that he has developed here. So this is his research pack, and so you have shaders, core, and there is just one file, which is render type VSH, and I have a whole bunch of other files for a different topic, uh, but this is basically just going to get rid of the shadow. And so you can kind of see, well, this is normal stuff that you always see, this is normal stuff you always see, but this is what he does. So he looks, if there is a very specific color of the text of the render type text that you are loading, and if the position exists in a very particular place, um, which I imagine helps it select certain text over others. And then basically it's just going to remove the shadow as he commented here, okay? And then otherwise, if it is a different, very specific color, then it will remove the shadow. Uh, this removes the color from the no shadow marker. Okay, that's that, that makes sense. Uh, but anyways, you can look through this if you want. I'm not going to go into it in too, too much detail because not everybody understands OpenGL, but you can understand that Pucky Silver did a great service in making this pack so that it is very easy and available to us. And I will leave that in the description. I'll try to leave a link to his post, but he did make a post in the Minecraft Commands Discord so maybe I'll also link how to get to the Minecraft Commands Discord as well, uh, or just ask him to make a GitHub. But how can we actually use it? Well, it's pretty simple. So you equip the resource pack, just like this, and as it tells you in the description, it says, remove shadows with color uh, 4E5C24. Now, if you want to, you can always just drag his singular file with the correct path into your current resource pack, so you can kind of merge it. Um, but maybe leave credit to him somewhere. But anyways, here we go. We have title, and here we go. Now we have the title without background text. This might be a bug. I'll ask him about it. But when you run it in the title, it becomes very dark uh, for some reason, even though that color is supposed to be white. Uh, if you put it in the action bar, though, it works how you would expect. And that's where most people would need this for, I'd imagine. Because most people don't care about the background text if you're making just a title with words. And so if we run this in the action bar, you can see there's a background on our Unicode. Now, if we run this in the background, in the action bar, you'll see there's no background to the Apple. And so you can go on with your UI tricks to use the action bar to change what the UI looks like. Very nice. One thing to note is that since you did change the color here, uh, for all the following text, you cannot re-edit the color. So I can't do color, red, right? I can't do that. Uh, and so it'll just have the background again. Um, and so that's kind of annoying. But since most of the time you're going to be using this to get rid of the background on Unicode characters, uh, you'll be able to deal with color yourself because it's a picture. Anyways, guys, if you thought that was useful, leave me a like, let me know what you want to see next. I've got a ton of things kind of in the works. But uh, yeah, I'll try and incorporate any questions or ideas you guys have. Anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Peace.